All right, thanks, Jeff, and uh, thanks, Modlon, for for hosting this event. It's fun to be a part of the community and uh, and uh, do this. So um, let's get started here with the uh, what what uh, Wolfram is is doing. So. Um, our flagship product has been Mathematica for a long time, um, now for 25 years. Um, if you have kids or friends that are in high school or college, uh, chances are that they are using Wolfram Alpha to solve their homework. I, excuse me, I mean verify their solutions. <laughs> um, CDF is uh, our computable document format, so you can take your uh, the interactivity that you have in Mathematica and bring that to, to your uh, colleagues and partners and um, whatnot. Um, System Modeler is our Modelica tool, and just as Mike here, I'm going to be brave and do a little bit of live demoing. Uh, there is also a grid Mathematica if you want to scale your computations, and we've also added a finance platform, which is uh, maybe not relevant for this crowd, but it's, uh, it's a way to to use uh, Mathematica for finance applications. So um, System Modeler is this uh, Modelica tool uh, where, where you have the, the traditional uh, things you, you would expect, drag and drop modeling. You can structure your models in, in nice hierarchies. Uh, of course, it's multi-domain. Uh, you have the built-in standard libraries. It handles hybrid systems nicely. Um, the idea is that it should be easy to simulate and uh, try different solutions and visualize them um, all at once. Now, so let's uh, do a quick demo and see what the product look like, looks like. So um, here's a uh, standard model that's available in the uh, standard library. I'm going to uh, run the simulation and um, just take a look at uh, the engine speed. So this is this is a uh, planetary gear model uh, changing uh, some of, or I'm just plotting some of the variables there. You can look at different, uh, adding different plot themes create a subplot that will link to the um, first plot. So if I zoom in on one plot, it directly zooms in on the other one uh, as well. So it's a nice Modelica tool with a nice graphical user interface. Uh, it's uh, pretty easy to learn. And uh, um, But OK, so um, there are many other Modelica tools out there. And what, what's special about this one? Well, the special thing is that we've been working on an interface for it for 25 years. Well, I haven't. Um, I was three years old when Mathematica was released. But um, Mathematica has been out there for uh, 25 years. This is showing a little bit of the uh, development that has happened during that period. And since many of you have used this tool uh, back in college or in, in some other uh, profession, I just want to uh, highlight some of the the changes that that has happened. So it's not really your your granddad's uh, uh, mathematic anymore. So here's a little bit of vis the visualization capabilities. Um, uh, traditional business charting, um, special visualizations with different stream plots and vector fields and uh, whatnot. There is a uh, built-in. Um, graphs and networks engine, so you can do all these kinds of graph search and um, that kind of thing as well. Um, in the latest version, we added uh, built-in units support. So here's an example of um, a uh, semiconductor problem. It's actually uh, one of my homework problems for a solar cells course I'm taking online from Stanford. And um, the, the nifty thing here is I'm just enter the quantities as um, just a, a string expression. So I could I could even spell Boltzmann wrong here, and it would d directly give me the Boltzmann constant there. Um, and it can just I just give it a target quantity, and it computes it nicely into electron volts here, uh, which is very handy. Um, 
other built-in capabilities, symbolic computations, of course, you can do integration derivations and so on. Um, here's some uh, probability problems, um, statistics, running, here's, here I'm running a, uh, um, basically creating a test table to see how good fit test I get with, with a, uh, a specific um, uh, distribution there. Markov chains, I think this um, is an interesting problem today um, since we have, so this one goes with a certain probability it jumps between, between rain and sun. And since it, were, it was raining here today, it was, it was um, a good example to pick. Uh, reliability analysis, you can do um, basically model with fault trees, reliability block diagrams, and so on. So here I'm uh, building up um, uh, basically what I had to do when, when uh, uh, the uh, brake light on my uh, Mitsubishi didn't work. Um, the failure could be either a fuse bulb or the uh, uh, the wires. Uh, guess what it was? It was the bulb. Um, there is built-in control systems since two versions back. So here I'm doing a uh, uh, PID tune example. I'm running a uh, uh, designing a controller for for uh, this uh, DC motor model. There's also uh, built-in optimizations. So here I'm looking at two different uh, fits, and that should uh, work. Well, when you're doing a live, live demo, there's always something that, that uh, doesn't work. All right, I'm going to leave that example for now. Um, there is also this, this um, idea of dynamic interactivity, so that here I'm changing to uh, uh, charges here and see how the the fields there uh, change with them so I'm doing this uh, doing all the computations live there but you can also connect it to other things C C++ Java uh, C sharp we now have an R link to link to the statistics language R uh, SQL and other databases and this list goes on there there's also import export functionality so that you can um, import and export to PDF, G JPEG, or um, other uh, formats. So when you take these two products and combine them, you get something where you can uh, build simulations, but you can also um, run them and analyze your results directly in the Mathematica environment. So here are some of them, um, some of the use cases here. Notebook environment, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm running this presentation from a Mathematica notebook in slideshow mode. Um, can create uh, custom visualizations, um, run optimizations, and find uh, basically do system identification and find good fits, uh, design control systems, and share my results. Now, what's happening um, in the next version is that we're uh, finally going to ship a uh, FMI interface. So we will support FMU uh, version 1. And unfortunately, only the uh, export part of it so far. We will continuously add the, the uh, other ones um, as we go. But um, just to point out here that there's no add-on connector, uh, special license required or anything. It will be built into system model or the product. You can run it standalone without Mathematica if you like. If you like, you can combine the two. There's no uh, royalty or license or anything to the um, FMU that you export and you can use it as you like and it will be available for Mac, Windows, um, and uh, Linux. I was almost about to forget Linux there. Um, and already with FMU export you can start to talk to uh, Veristand, LabVIEW, uh, FMQ, Mike Tiller's platform, Cybernetica, uh, PyFMI, or um, all of these other tools that are supporting uh, import. So let's take a look at what, what this looks like. Um, I'm going to bring up inside the tool and let's take, well, I had a nice one here. Let 
Well, well, let's we can do the, do this uh, simple gear shift here. So um, what you do is uh, you select the the model that you want to export. You select export, and then there's basically two different exports. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't know what SPML is. It's a symbolic uh, markup language, and um, it's a way to to uh, uh, communicate models in in uh, systems biology. But what we want to do here is FMU. So when I select FMU, uh, you'll get the uh, version here. And uh, right now, it's only version 1. You can select if you want an icon and documentation. Um, and then you select where you want to export it to. It will uh, build the FMU for you. And now uh, it will report where this one is stored. So if I click here, it's, it's directly on my desktop. I can, of course, choose some other way to, to export it as well. Now, um, we also have this export capability directly in Mathematica. So if I have, right, um, system modeler here and Let's open a, uh, a simple model. Here I'm adding a uh, input that I will specify myself. And here's a, uh, a sine wave. I'll add it and, and display the output. Um, so here I'll do basically create a temporary file. I'll export my uh, FMU to that with basically an FMU export command. And what this gives you is basically the possibility to script your uh, FMU exporting capabilities directly from, from uh, Mathematica um, with icon and documentation and everything um, so that you can create multiples, uh, multiple FMUs directly. And here is a little um, example where I run the uh, uh, simulation of the FMU, so now I'm not using system modeler to, to run this at all. I'm just using a uh, shorthand here, FMU simulate, which will um, run the uh, simulation. And I've saved the results here to the variable D. So in D, um, I'm just going to pick out the uh, uh, data elements, and then I'm uh, plotting them here. So the function that is supplied here is, um, well, a sinus function here. but um, could supply anything from, from uh, uh, Mathematica. Uh, licensing and availability. So um, these are the prices that we released uh, with System Modeler uh, 3. And um, I don't know if, if there's going to be a change in this for, for System Modeler version 4. Maybe we'll you know, follow inflation up, but um, that's um, Basically, the, the idea is you can run it standalone or you can run it together with Mathematica. There's different tiers if you're commercial or academic or if you're a student. And if you just want to use it home as a hobbyist and enthusiast, you have uh, the possibility to do that as well. Um, so uh, questions, roadmap um, will support um, export in the first iteration here, and then we'll keep adding uh, to it because I think or we think it's um, it's a great way to to um, share your models.